Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Echo. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on itch.io. But if you want to support the people that made this game, and or want to help them develop other games, you can go to their Patreon, where it's, I think, $3 a month. I have actually checked. Sorry. Anyways, on the last Let's Play, we uh, found out that Carl was sold meth, otherwise known as speed. You should ask the people who did dare. They know exactly where to find those people that will sell you this stuff. They will tell you that. And we're kind of questioning whether or not that's true. We also met Clint for the first time this year, and he looks like death. Because he, you know, looks like a crack addict. But anyways... We yeeted out of that situation right quick, and, you know, Jenna is being go flirty flirty because, you know, we're just a sexy man with a goatee. So I set my face, and I guess we're going for a night walk? I don't know. And begin. It takes me a second for my eyes to adjust to the darkness. The desert at night can look pretty strange, like the absence of the sun. Like, the absence of the sun sucks all the color out of the world. I mean, I it kind of does. Your night vision cells lack color finding, I think. I don't know. I heard that once. It makes try not to fall into a ditch all the more difficult when everything starts blending together. Once I find a good spot hidden away from any of the motel windows, I turn my back to it and get to leak taking. Oh, right, because he needed to pee. I'm making a constrained effort this time not to piss on myself. If that happens twice in a row, Jenna's going to start, you know, thinking that she's not going to want to date me anymore. Who will? <clears throat> Jenna's going to start thinking I have a fetish or something. You do! Water sports. Why do they call it water sports anyway? If you're actually into water-based sports, you can't really talk about your hobby without the perverts in the room thinking you like piss. Though to be fair, there's much worse stuff out there to be into. I remember, for the longest time, Flynn had this whole reputation for being into scat. There's nothing wrong with scat. I'm, well, I was gonna be like, it's not that I'm into it, but then it's like, nothing, whatever. I fell into my own trap. Ooh, woo. I think it started after somebody called him a shit pusher because he was gay. And of course, he told them that and, uh, he told them that he was and loved it, doing it. Then that got all am ambiguated in the high school social mill until Flynn was apparently spending his weekends diving into septic tanks. Flynn wasn't remotely pleased when that stigma didn't go away. There's nothing wrong with that. And of course, I thought it was hilarious. Strangely enough, that never got applied to Leo and I, even with all of our PDAs. Oh, public displays of affection. I guess. There's a crunching noise besides me, a dry bramble being tread underfoot, and the sudden shuffling of dirt. The noise stops as soon as it starts, and I glance over, realizing I'm not alone. Hey, pissing all by yourself, handsome? I'm sorry. What the fuck? I blink. I must have finished pissing a moment ago, but there I am, still holding my prick. Micah stares at the aforementioned before looking back up at me. I quickly shove myself back in my shorts, nearly tripping over myself as I step back away from him. Damn it, where'd he even come from? I was taking a leak. The fuck you were, Shuzo. I'll be like, well, put your hand here where I was standing. His voice is strange, distant. In fact, he looks completely out of it, as if his comprehension of the world around him is de delayed. You were just standing there, staring off into the dark, or nothing, cock and paw, jerking into the void, 
that's how you de defeat it. Wait, that's how you defeat it? It's like, what are you talking about? I mean, I guess not really defeat it, but hold it off is jerking off. That would be kind of funny if one of these games, everybody's just jerk, just having a circle jerk to keep the demon away. Why are you even here? Micah points, a half-flitted stare in my direction, his fingers wiggling around the edge of his of his tank top. He's not so much looking at me as looking right through me. I'm a bat, and it's night. I can be wherever I want. So you want to be here? The voice echoes so clearly in my mind, I can't help but say it out loud. So you want to be here? Fuck no. He sniffs, his answer spoken with a tired, slurred tone. I mean, I'm here because I like... There's a dick all for me out there. So he's gay too. There must be something about this town that makes everyone gay. But, wait, you're talking about right here, right now? With you? And look into his widened pupils and slowly nod. Shit. Micah rubs his face. Pinching at his own lightly fuzzled cheeks, his gaze still a million miles away. He's exhausted, or at least appears so now. Like someone on a tail end of a ride of a fierce supper. He can't put sleep off forever. Shit, I'm only half awake right now, and that's the worst way to be. It's like how when you're daydreaming, and you're flying, and when you're... Having a nightmare, you're falling. It's always falling. Micah steps back, his heels hanging off the edge of the wash, and I'm sure he's about to tip over into it. Without thinking, I reach out for him, but he seems to lean away from my paw. What the hell am I doing? Don't touch the junkie. I should just get out of here, back to my own hotel room. Behold! I was shaped in iniquity. What's that mean? I just need to make sure that he wasn't pulling his dick out. I mean, this game doesn't, I don't think has, you know, each content on screen, but you gotta be, you know, sure, see. He extends his tattooed arm and shows off his wingspan. Before I can say anything to respond to the bad ramblings, he tips backward like he's expecting someone to catch him. Oh shit. Are you okay? Silence. I start creeping close to the edge to get a look at him. But the small voice rings out from within. Can ow. He goes quiet again as dust plume rises from the ditch. Finally, another little grunt. Oh, where the hell am I? Son of a bitch. As I peer over the edge, I can tell he's about a good three to four hour drop. No, wait, it's about a good three to four foot drop. Nothing too dire, but definitely not pleasant. Micah's day's graze meets mine and quickly narrows. Yeah, fuck. Of course. It wasn't just a dream. I stare blankly at him, wheels turning in my head for a second. Wait, were you sleepwalking? If that's what you want to call it. Did you just have your prick out? I ignore the question. Your dream made you do a trust fall into the dirt. I thought you were tweaking out on drugs or something. If only. Michael, Micah slowly pushes himself to his feet and climbs out of the wash. His backside is completely caked with dirt and goat head bramble. He tries to pick out the sticker stickers from his fur, wincing at each prick. I think, well, I thought there was water in there for some reason. He thumbs over his shoulder. There's probably not going to be any in there for another few months. Yeah, fuck. I'll be gone by then. Micah shakes his legs a few times. Some more dust scattering to the wind. Having white fur like that must suck in the desert here. If you 
even get the slightest bit dirty, everyone can see. For me, everything just kind of blends into the brown fur. He squints at the building nearby and lets out a little astonished noise. I made it all the way out here to the motel? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Fucking hellfire. Man, it's just getting so much worse. He shakes his head. He's clearly loose now, but I don't think, don't know if he's really talking to me. He does off for one minute, and then everything's an absolute shit show. A cold chill creeps down along my spine. This is all sounding really familiar. Pot helps, keeps the bad vibes down, but it's a quick fix for something you'll never know when it's coming. I've been having something similar happen to me, I think. Really bad dreams, mainly. His gaze snaps to me, as if he wasn't expecting me to actually respond to him. Fucking really? Oh shit. The bat extends an arm out to his surroundings, gesticulating at everything and nothing at all at once, while his wings flap about. You ain't the only one, must fuck. You ain't seen how it's been. It's real shit down on Jasmine Street. The hum, I mean, the hum gets bad there. Hum? I frown, unnerved by the bat's words, but not really sure I should start questioning them. I guess he would know about noises, like with those big ears, unless it's like, I don't know. I mean, it could definitely be a, uh, hey, there's magical mystical stuff. Because of course there is. Especially in uh, Leo's route. You wouldn't know. After all, you're just having a little fun trip and then fucking right off. Micah says this like it's bad timing. However, I'm not guilty about when to get the hell out of here at the soonest possible convenience. When we find Carl, of course. So, um, you're gonna leave town too? Mikey glances over at me. Yeah, you should go soon as well. But he'll be back. But he'll be back. They all come back. They all come, we all come back. What are you on about? I'm honestly not quite sure myself, but we're just sound right at the time. I shrug. I guess that's just what it feels like to me. Hmm, not everyone does. His tone shifts more melancholy. The young bat is reaching into his pocket and flipping on an old cell phone for a moment. Looks like one of those cheaper ones that you'd buy the minutes and text messaging for per usage. Burners, I think they're called. After a moment, I realize who he's referring to. I never really uh, knew Keith. Sorry I went missing. He stops messing with his phone, yellow eyes flicking back up to me. You didn't know him, and you know the reason he disappeared. So stop talking like you're personally involved. I feel myself starting to get a little frustrated. I don't know why I'm still here. In fact, I don't know why Mike is still here. He's just lingering about, even after he claimed he came this way due to sleepwalking or whatever. What was Keith doing before he went missing? This is the point where he seemed to have Mike's full attention. He glances around for a moment before Stepping forward, lowering his voice to a quiet, quiet rasp. What he was always doing, Shizo. Trying to fix people. He'd see somebody who'd be utter shit trash, and then find their inner spirit or whatever. You know, native shit. He thinks for a second. Well, native light, whatever. Keith was one of those weird kids who read philosophy books in school. Like, I'm not trying to be racist to native people. I'm just, you know, I can't think the right words. I'm trying to be politically correct, you know? He helped all of us, of course, and I thank him to bits for it. Screw us, didn't know his limits. Started getting chummy with his supplier, this big, 
bear bastard named Brian. Ah! I think we found out what happened. Because if you remember from uh, Leo's roots, he's the guy. He's the purveyor of all the drugs around here, or a lot of drugs, especially the hard stuff. He also looks like absolute shit. And he's the reason people got moided. A lot of people. Supplier? Keith dealt drugs? Bitch, everyone deals and everyone gets dealt an echo. This ain't surprise. Or shouldn't be. So let me get you off your moral high horse right now. He squints and thought. Yeah, now that I think of it. Wasn't your mom the one that let Steven Misery plow for Oxy? What? I can't help but be taken back by that one. No! You're saying your mom didn't take Oxy? No, she had back pain issues and took Percocet, but that's it. That is Oxy, bitch. But enough about your whore mom. Fuck you. He huffs. He's so full of shit, just like before at the bonfire. I did my paws in my pockets and turn to leave. I get a couple of steps towards the motel before I hear the bat rasp from behind me. Hey, don't be a bitch. I keep walking. The shower is probably freed up now. And God knows I could use it, if not for the water, but for the time alone. No, wait, seriously, stop. Chase. I hear a frustrated sigh. Chase, please. I need to talk to you, serious like. My turn, and if his sight is any good, he can get a good view of how done with this shit I am for my from my expression of living. Keith tried to help this supplier turn his life around, all that. He has I hesitate. I didn't expect him to start talking about Keith again. He saw the goodness in him, etc etc. Uh, I don't think there's any goodness in him. Granted there's like a little video that s meme video where it's doesn't seem like the bad guy, just seems to have problems when, like, I think he's pretty far gone. Just saying. After you mur murder a whole bunch of people, yeah. Before all this, Keith would always take me out after school on Fridays. We'd go fly in these RC planes we tinkered with down by the river. That sounds cool. Eh, sorry. I mean, it sounds as... About as fun as plucking pubes to most folk now, but little me loved him. I mean, it sounds fun. The moment he started getting close to Brian, that stopped. We saw him less and less until, poof. Keith's gone. No one knows where he went, including Brian. So claimeth be. And I had nothing left here. My anger with the bats begins to fade as he looks me straight in the eye. There's something about the tone of his voice that's different. Like, this has actually mattered. A, a matter he thought about for a long time. Micah, are you? I exhale, stepping forward and lowering my voice. Are you trying to tell me something? Something about Carl? No. I'm trying to get you to whip out your dick again. The runny bat's nostrils flare as he steps closer. I cover my crotch with my free paw and he rolls his eyes. Do you want help finding the rich fat kid? I hesitate to add this hostile phrasing, but begrudgingly not. Any information at all would help at this point. Yes, I want help finding Carl. Do you know anything that could help us? Cool, and hopefully. He doesn't speak for a time. Rolling his cell phone in his paws. Don't report anything I'm about to tell you. To the cops. I'm genuinely trying to help you here. But I need you to swear that. Sure. Whatever. I swear I won't tell the cops. 
I lie. Good. Nothing I did is really legal, but I can, but it can be implica implication as hell if you don't find your friend. Uh, is this about the meth you guys said Carl was taking? No, that was bullshit. I knew it. Well, Flynn knew it. Like Hellfire, I'm gonna start ratting fuckers out in front of everybody. The Hendrix house was marked. Jeremy tipped Clint off. Okay, Jeremy, who the fuck's... Okay, the uh, Fox brother. Jeff tipped Clint, the uh, meth guy, off that Carl was staying home alone. Clint then brings me on to scope shit out, just before midnight at 11. I can see you well in the dark, and got a good look at their alarm system. That's why I noticed two big, glowing eyes staring back at me. I don't know what happened, but there was a flash, and next thing you know, I'm falling from the second story ledge onto the riprap. The photo. That was Micah. The flash and Carl's cell phone camera. If cell phone camera. That has to be it. He took a picture of you before you fell. We found the photo the next day. The bad slips tighten. Fuck me then. Guess it's good. Wait, it's good that I'm getting ahead of this. It barely even looked like you. I think the picture was all distorted. I try to wave off his concerns with reassuring tone. You're shifting the conversation back to Carl. What happened next? Micah sighs, speaking up again. Next thing I hear is a whole shit ton of thudding. Like, da dunk, da dunk. I couldn't move. I didn't want to start sprinting off while anyone inside was still looking out the window. So I huddled up in a blind spot, and the noise kept going on for thirty mi for a solid thirty minutes. What the tongue being? I mean, maybe, um... Him ramming his head into a wall? I'm not sure. Then, a fucking hell of a lot... Hell of a clatter. The sound of wooden boards snapping inside. Hmm. Next thing I know, the fattest is taking off into the desert. Completely spooked. Which direction? South, I think. Anyway... He holds up his basic looking cell phone. I gave Clint a call, told him what happened. He started freaking the fuck out on me, cussing and swearing, spitting up a storm. Kept insisting he needed to call someone, and that's the last I heard of it. Spent the next 12 hours nursing a bruised tailbone in Ben Trail off Route 65. Well, God damn. Actually, answer, actual answers. This is all really helpful, Micah. But why are you telling me this? Why are you writing out your friends to someone you hate? The guy groans aloud, and a look of exacerbation crossing his tired features. Have you been listening at all? There are the fuck. No, wait. There are fuckers out there I don't trust. And if there's anything to be done about putting a boot to their asses, I'm down. For Keith. So wait, he's thinking that after Carl just ran into the desert, somebody just kind of got him? I mean, maybe, I guess. Bat taps his phone a few times before head handing it my way. Give me your number. I'll keep you updated on what's going on. A supplier guy I mentioned will be coming into town. I'll see if I can get some more info out of him about Clint, about the ram. Wait, should be commas. And Clint. And Clint about the ram. I take the phone, slowly using the tiny button based numpad to put in my number. There's probably a few ways this can come back and bite me in the ass. At this point, I'm pretty damn desperate for a lead. I just never would have expected it to come from Micah, of all people. And willingly at that. And here I thought you hated me. I don't care about you enough to hate you, Shizo. 
I hand the bat back his phone, unsure how to feel about that response. If I don't hear from you by the time we have to go Sunday, you should get the fuck out of Echo. His tone is flat, a matter of fact statement that it believes doesn't need further explanation. Another response, wondering if it's too late to take my number back. Well, uh, if that's all? I glance back to the hotel. Michael looks too. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, one more thing. Oh? I perk a brow in his direction. You still with that wolf boy, Leo? I remember him getting skittish about him earlier. He's actually acting nonchalant, but there's definitely something more to his question than act on casual curiosity. The answer to the question itself is also a complicated one. Oh really? Why do you ask? Eh, I don't give a shit. He looks down at his phone as he says this. A lie. Then why'd you ask? He's just... I hear he talks a lot of shit. I was wondering if he ever talks shit about me. Michael folds his arms over his chest, staring at his phone screen. To be honest, I don't even recall a time he even mentioned him by name. It's the truth. Out of all Jasmine Street kids, Michael was one I never really heard Leo talk about. Figures. What? What? I'm out of here. I'll text you in a bit. Yvette turns and heads off. There's something about him that sticks with me, and I can't quite put my finger on it. He's gay! Probably. Once he disappears around the corner of the motel, I take out my phone and tab over the group chat. Whew, and I think that's a good time. Yep, because it's the new day. And around 27 min mark. That's a good thing right there. Ouch. I snapped with my broken hand. I mean, it's not broken anymore, but it's still, like, very sore. Somehow sore than it was before I, uh, had it in a cast. Oh, no. Here. Which is a really weird thing, because it's like, okay, it isn't that bad, but it's broken. Put it in a cast... Four weeks later, pull it out of a cast, it hurts more. Though maybe it's just because it's really stiff or something? I don't know. But, and this let's place with comment, guys. I like comments, tell me you like, dislike, tips, tricks, always. If you like me, YouTube, and like, see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the rest of it grow. And please remember, Spain, your animals to help control the pit population. And if you're interested in playing this game, it's available free on HIO, but if you Sorry, got hiccups. If you want to support the people that make made this game and want uh, to check out their other games or support their other games, Patreon, where it's three dollars. Actually, fuck this. My membership is okay, three dollars a month. So is right. Hey. Anyways, until next time, we me. Game of Woo 6 of Echo. So thanks and see ya.